Recording in progress. Okay. So when we got the partial fraction, how do we integrate the partial fraction? First, we need to convert the partial fraction into something that we can integrate and then we integrate. So we're not going to integrate straight away. First thing we need to do is we need to solve this partial fraction. I got x and 2x minus 3. And let's say I got x plus a 5. So I need to convert that into normal fraction. So let's say to do that one, this will be to just write a. A can be any constant. And 2x minus 3 here plus, always a plus, b and x plus 5. You write that one. That's the first step. After you've done the first step, what you do is you multiply you, this, this is 2x minus 3x plus 5. This is 2x minus 3. But this is x plus 5. This denominator is different. This is different. This is different. We want to make all the denominators same. So what I'm going to do is the first one I can write, rewrite as it is. Okay, the second denominator, there's an A there, but I want to make it same with that one, 2x minus 3x plus 5. 2x minus 3 is already here. And the thing that's missing is x plus 5. So I would write x plus 5 here, and I would put the x plus, x plus 5 here. So I multiply and divide with the x plus 5. Yes? A positive here. Now here, these are x plus 5 is already there. And the b is here. And I want to make it like that. So I need to multiply that by 2x minus 3. A missing bit. And 2x minus 3. Yes? There's another way of doing it, but this is the easy and simplest way. So you got that bit. Next thing you need to do is, there's an easy way. You see all the denominators, they are same. All the denominators, they are same. So you do one more step. When the denominators are same, we just write down the denominator. Once on this side, and here you write a x plus 5 plus b 2x minus 3. And on this side, what I did is because the denominator was the same, I just added the top bit straight away. That's it. I just write the denominator one. Now, what you can do is because this denominator and these denominators are the same, that's one term and the other one is one term. You can just cross this bit and you can cross this bit. When you cross that one, what you got here is you just got a simple x. And on this side, you need to multiply the a inside. So that becomes an ax plus a 5a. Multiply the b inside. 2bx minus 3b. Look at that. Now, you need to find out what's the a and the b. To do that one, we need to actually it, uh, group things together. If something has an x and x, we put them together. Something doesn't have an x, we put them together. So let's say this x on its own equals this is an ax plus a 2bx plus a 5a minus a 3b. Okay, we got that bit. Now, I have, let me rewrite that one. X is here. If 
if I take the x common from these two, what I got? I got a plus uh, 2b and x outside. Yeah? Plus a 5a minus 3b. Now, this is like a constant because a is a constant and b is a constant. Yeah? Now here, this ab is here and there's an x. So I look on the other side of the equation, left side, right side. This is called matching the coefficient. I do, a, I just match or equating the coefficient. On BF, yeah, it's uh, both sides. Okay, now if you have a look, uh, this is an X. And if you have a look on this side, there's an X and the coefficient is one. So which means A plus a 2B equals one. If they are equal, that's, that's how it's going to work. And next thing, there is no constant. There is a, there, well, there is. I can't see, but there is a plus zero, which I cannot see. So 5A minus 3B equals zero. Recording in progress. Okay, now from here, I can find the value of the A. 5A, 3B on the other side, minus 3B becomes a positive 3B. Now A equals 3B over 5. I moved the 5 from this. So I got this, this bit. Yeah. Now I'm just going to call this one my equation. Uh, let's say this is, I'm going to call this one my equation number 1. I call this one equation number 2. Uh, I call this one equation number 3. And I call this one my equation number four. Okay. Now, this value equation number four, I put it back here. So instead of A, I'm going to write 3B plus five. Instead of A, I write 3B over five. This thing, I put it here. Plus a 2B equals one. Okay. 3 over five plus 2b, if I add them together, how many b is it going to give me? Um, 10b over 5. So that's going to give me 13b over 5 equals 1, which means b equals 5 over 13. Yes? Leave it like that. Do not do, you don't need to convert that into decimal. Recording in progress. Okay, now I I got the B, but I don't have the A, so I would take this value and put this one here, put that value here in B, and I will get I will get that value uh, for the A. Okay, so now I'll just put this one. Let's call this one equation number five, and now I will write down. Oh, this is not visible on the camera. Put equation five into equation four. So I'm just going to put that five into four. Now I'll find A. So A equals three over five. Now B is five over 13. Five over 13. That will give me A equals five and five cancel. This five disappear, this five disappear. I got three over 13. So I have an A and I have, I'm gonna call this one equation six. I have the value of the A and the B. So these are the two values that I, I will need. Now, once I got these values, I will put it here. I will put it here. And then we have a uh, look at one of the rule for integration. Okay, so let me just rub the board. Okay. 
Okay, now we got the value of the A and the B. So I would put the value of the A here. So A is 3 over 13. I write 3 over 13 and the 2x minus 3 as it is. Plus the B is 5 over 13 and x plus x plus 5. Okay. So what I've done is I've broken that bit into two partial fractions. And I find the value of the A and find the value of the B. Rather integrating this one, which we don't know how to, we can integrate this bit. So now I want to write, I can put this back into this equation and then I will integrate. So we are going to integrate this bit because they both are equal. Uh, so this guy is X and uh, 2X minus 3 and uh, X plus a uh, five. So let, now let's integrate. We are integrating with respect to x. So rather integrating that side, I will integrate the other side. So integrate um, three over thirteen two uh, x minus three plus five over thirteen x plus five dx. So I need to integrate that bit. Before we integrate this thing, we need to know a few things, which we already covered, but let's have a look. You know that when we integrate, the, the constant comes out. So let me just break it down into, um, yeah, let's write one more step here. So I'm going to integrate that thing. It is 3 over 13. 3 over 13, 2x minus 3. That will become plus integrate 5 over 13, x plus 5. I'm doing all the steps. If you like, you can skip few steps, not all. So the 3 over 13 is a constant comes out and I've got 1 over 2x minus 3 and dx plus uh, 5 over 13 comes out Now the important bit, the important bit is if you look at 2x minus 3 and if you look at x plus 3, what we need to know is there is a rule. The rule states if the bottom thing, the derivative of the bottom is up, and let me write the rule. The rule is like this. For example, there is, let's say it's uh, and any number, let's say I got um, 2x plus 5, let's say 2x plus 5. What's the derivative of 2x plus 5? Derivative 2, isn't it? If, if it's something like that, the derivative of this thing is up, there is a rule. The rule is it's ln of 2x plus 5. That's how it, it becomes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to exploit this rule and we're going to use that one. So let's see. Okay. What is the derivative? Not the integral, derivative. What's the derivative of this thing? Two. two. Uh, is there a two there? No, it's not a two there. So let's make a two. Okay. So uh, to make a two, get rid of the one, put a two. But I can't do that. I cannot just put a two straight away. So what I can do is I will put one over two here as well. Yeah, balance. So now, uh, what's the derivative of this thing? Just the one, which is already. So now this thing becomes three times one is three and that becomes three over 26, yeah? And now this one, because the derivative is up, I can call it ln of two X minus three plus, what about this one? 
5 over 13 is as it is. The derivative of this is up. So that's ln of x plus 5. Do not forget the plus c. Yeah, plus c is, is important. Okay, uh, very important group. Uh, if you got, uh, guys, if you got um, something at the denominator and the differential of that one on the top, it's always the ln of the answer is when you different uh, integrate it's ln of the whatever it is at the same or denominator plus a t. For example, here, let's say you got the box at the bottom and differential of the box on the top. The answer is just ln of the box plus a c. Let's do one example. Let's do one example. Let's say there are multiple ways of doing it. There's a long way of doing it, but if you remember that rule, it's a lot quicker. Let's say I got, I want to integrate this thing. I want to integrate that thing. And let's say it's a x cubed plus a 5x squared plus a 10. And on the top, it's a 3x squared plus a 10x. And I need to integrate this thing. It's quite difficult to integrate that thing, you know. But if I use a rule, this is what happens. I, I need to get that one. I'm going to call that one u. So you write down u equals x cubed plus a 5x squared plus a 10. Find me du over dx. Differentiate that one. When you differentiate that, becomes a 3x squared plus a 10x. Now you can see this thing is on the, this thing is actually the numerator. And this thing is actually a denominator. So it's, it's kind of applies, that rule does apply. So what I'm gonna do is, in the, this one, the box is the denominator in the box. This is the box, yeah? So in that case, I can do ln, oh, blue one, um, green one doesn't look nice. So ln of the denominator, uh, x, Q plus a 5x squared plus a 10 and plus C. This is the answer in one step. Yeah. Okay. Now we got algebraic fraction, we repeated linear fractions. So this is x minus 1, fair. So that's x minus 1, then x minus 1, then x plus 1. When we convert that into um, x minus one pair and x plus one. It's a over x minus one plus a b over x minus one plus a c over x plus one. Now, x minus one, the second thing we take as x minus one pair. So this is an important bit to know. So x minus one, x minus one squared. Okay. Now this is the one we need. We need to find the value of the a and the b and the c. Okay. How do we find the a, b, and c? Now this three variables it becomes a little bit more complicated. Let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is, as in first step, I will make all the variables, all the denominators same. Okay, so I can actually get rid of that bit. I can cancel the denominator. So let's have a look. Um, okay, I have to write all x three. That remain as it is. X minus one here and x plus one. Okay, what is missing here? What is missing here in the A? The A is still here. This is missing at the bottom. I need to make it like this. So 
it is missing x this x minus one is still here and it is missing x plus one so i write x plus one here yeah now i need to make it like that so if i write x plus one here i need to write x plus one here as well yeah but i need to make x minus one square so if i need to put a square here i need to put x minus one on this side as well so i have got that bit done now see the denominator becomes same but top i cleared that one now let's have a look at what i do with a b b is still there now on the bottom it's x minus one x minus one sphere the thing that missing is only x plus one so i can do x plus one and on the top i can do x plus one Now next bit plus a C. Bottom x plus one is already here. What I'm missing? I'm missing x minus one square. So I'm going to write down x minus one square. But I have to write on the top as well x minus one square. So now if you have a look, they all have exactly same denominators. If they have all the same denominator, what I can do is I can just cancel all the denominators. Yeah, because they are same. I can cancel. Let me just use a green color. I can just cancel that. I can cancel that. I can cancel that. I can cancel that. So on this side, I have one. On other side, I have a bracket x plus one bracket x minus one plus a b bracket x plus one plus a c bracket x minus one square okay now different ways of doing it i'm going to do matching the coefficient way there's another way as well but let's do matching the coefficient way first you need to actually multiply all these bits yeah you can multiply all these bits. Let me just do the other way and let me see if that's much more quicker than we can. Let me just do quickly. Okay. okay. Uh, so we got that bit, then we need to actually make the coefficient same. So we want to multiply to the missing bit. So we have to make everything same. So that becomes the x minus one, uh, x minus one, you put that one here. And you put x plus one, which is here. Yeah. So you make all the coefficients same. Then you multiply these things out. You multiply these things out. All of these ones. The coefficient, the denominators are same. You can get the denominators, and then you multiply that inside. When you multiply inside, this is what you got. When you got that one, you need to make sure the x squares are here. The thing that with the x are here. The thing that doesn't have any x are here, and then. After that, you need to match the coefficient. So one is already here, a plus cx squared plus b minus cx, because I take the x out, and this is that one. This is a constant, that's one. This is with the x, and there is nothing here with the x. So I'm going to add zero x, which means b minus two c is zero. Then I can do x squared. X squared is non-existent here so i can write zero x squared which means a plus c is zero now i got this bit i can solve using a matrix formula or you can in your calculator you can um you can solve the polynomial in your calculator and that will give you the answer as well um let me just go it's uh it's a menu and then uh a and then um, simultaneous equation, number of unknowns are three and minus one, one, one. One and that's equal to one, zero, one, minus zero, one, zero, one. Zero, one. And when you solve this one, they will give you the values. Use the calculator here. 
You can use the calculator. I will show you how uh, polynomials equation. And that will, when you solve this one, this will give you the value of A as minus 1 over 4, value of B as 1 over 2, and the value of C as 1 over 4. So you have these three values. I'll show you later how we got these values. Now, what you need to do is, when you got these three values, you need to put it back in this equation. So let's put it back in this equation. So this equation, uh, let me just call this one as equation uh, one. So I'm just going to put all these values in that equation. Now, that will become, instead of A, A is minus one, <coughs> minus one over four, X minus one. B is one over two. 1 over 2, C is 1 over 4, 1 over 4, X plus 1. Once you got that thing, obviously, then you need to integrate that. You need to integrate that one. Okay. Now, the integral of this one is easy. Integral of that one is easy, but what will be the integral of, of this one? Yep, we have to have a look at how do we integrate this way. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the integral. Let's do integration now, because that's what we need to do. So, if I integrate this bit, let me integrate that bit. Uh, integral of x minus 1, this minus 1 over 4 comes out. Yes, minus 1 over 4 comes out, plus integral of 1 over 2 comes out. One over four comes out. Okay. Let's have a look. According to the rule, in Differentiation of this one exists on the top. Differentiation of this one exists on the top. So 1 over 4 is there according to the rule. It's going to be ln of x minus 1. Okay, plus, leave that one for a while. Um, integration of this one exists on the top. So 1 over 4 as it is. Integration of x plus 1 is, uh, so you know, did I say integration? Differential of the bottom is on the top. So when that rule is there, we write x plus 1, plus a c. So if you write up till here, we just do the x minus 1 square in a minute. Okay, how I got the a, b, and c, I will add a tiny video for you guys, so you, you know how to add the a, how to find the a, b, and c by using that later, yeah? But for a while, just remember that one, I got the value, and then I'll show you how. Now, we know how to we know how to integrate this bit. We got the integration. We know how to do that one is Allen. But this middle bit, I'm still stuck on the middle bit. The middle bit, I need to write it down. Let me just do that one. I need to write it down. And let me do that one separately, maybe on the top. So the middle bit, I don't have any idea. So let's do that one here. Let me rub this bit. Yeah, I'm just going to rub that one just to clear. The space. Now this one, I got the half, and I need to integrate one over x minus one square dx. The easy way to do that one is one over two and x minus one minus two. I haven't integrated. It's a two. When you move it up, it becomes a minus two. Yeah. Law of indices. Now, 1 over 2, now when I integrate this thing, this is, this is what happens. You actually, 1 minus x, you add 1, you increase the power by 1 and divide with that power as well. That's how the integration of this thing works. So 1 over 2 is as it is. Here it becomes a x minus 1, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. And at the bottom, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 
they are multiplying. So 2 times minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. And you got x minus 1 minus 1. Now, this minus 1, we don't want to write it that way. You need to bring it down. When you bring it down, that becomes a half. And x minus 1 plus 1. Yeah, it be minus 1 becomes plus 1. But we don't write this plus 1. We just write like that. That's it. So this is the answer to that. So that becomes a minus 1 over 2 x minus 1. So instead of that one, I can write down there was plus. So minus 1 over 2. And then x minus 1. Yeah, x minus 1. Okay, minus and positive and minus becomes a negative. So that's it. Now you can do one more step after that one. You can do one more step after that one further to further simplify. There is a rule. Uh, put all the elements together. So I got minus 1 over 4. Actually, let's write this element first. This element got x plus 1. 1 over 4, I'm writing this one first because of positive. Uh, ln of x plus 1. And after I write this one. Minus 1 over 4, ln of x minus 1. If that was positive and that was positive, I put it just straight away cancel, but they're not. Minus uh, 1 over 2, x minus 1, plus a c. Okay, now we have a rule. The rule is when the logs, when the logs are subtracting, these are logs, ln, you divide them. So that will be 1 over 4 ln of positive 1 over the negative 1 minus 1 over 2 x minus 1 plus a c. This is your answer. Now, I'm just going to show you how we got the value of the a, b, and c, yeah, from this equation. Okay, how did I get the value of the a, b, and c by using straightaway calculator? What you need to do is use, you need to have this calculator, the right one, the good one. Click on the menu. When you click on the menu, you need to go all the way down. Yeah, or you can just press the A. If I press the A, which is somewhere here, it's giving me simultaneous equation. Now I need to press number one, number one. Now I'm in simultaneous equation. It says uh, simultaneous equation number of unknown. How many unknown I got? Three. I got three unknowns. Now I need to type this one. The first one I need to type in A, B, and C, A, B, and C, A, B, and C form. Yeah. The first one, what is the coefficient with the A? It's minus one. So you type minus one under minus one. And then I press equal. Then with the B, it's a one. One and then equal. With the C, it's still a one, equal. Then in the end, A minus A plus B plus C was equal to one. So I can put one here. Then the second equation is B minus 2C. B minus 2C, I don't have any A, so 0A. B is 1. C is minus 2. And then in the end, the uh, um, is 0. So I add that. The third one is A plus C. So A is 1. B is 0. C is 1. And that's 0. I press that one. In calculator, it's X, Y, Z. It is not A, B, C. Then you press equal. It's give you x equals uh, minus 4, which is a equals to minus 1 over 4, yeah? b equals, which is y equals 1 over 2. And then c equals uh, 1 over 4. So that's how I got the value of the a, b, and c, yeah? Okay.